How's it going, you sexy beasts? Today, we've grabbed hold of the Vanu Sovereignty's newest addition to their arsenal, the Iridani SX-5 submachine gun. With the latest update to Planetside 2, all three factions have been given a new entry to the submachine gun weapon class, and the Vanu Sovereignty's Iridani is quite a beast. This weapon sports superior hipfire to any other weapon class in the game, while having possibly the worst aim down sight accuracy in the game as well. Of the three new submachine guns, the Vonder Sovereignties holds the middle ground between stopping power and fire rate, making this SMG a well-rounded weapon for all occasions. Due to how the weapon class is built, though, the Iridani falls short for any fight past medium range, rendering it near useless as an all-purpose weapon. So, without further ado, let's step into the beauty of the Vonder Sovereignties Iridani SX-5 submachine gun. Starting off with the submachine gun was rather difficult, as I wasn't quite sure what to expect from the newly implemented weapon class. What I had discovered rather quickly though was that hipfire was a rather cinch, while trying to engage targets at longer ranges while aiming down the sights was a pain in the butt. The handling of this weapon is pretty fair, all things considered. Recoil is very, very low, and the cone of fire bloom is pretty low as well. But, I did find myself, over and over again, losing to carbines or assault rifles past about 20 meters, where their harder hitting rounds and better aim down sight advantage was just far outperforming my poor little submachine gun. Once they had stepped into my domain though, it was all over. Even if they had the jump on me, I could easily side strafe and hip fire them down pretty easily, as this weapon is a sheer bullet hose that can land rounds on target with no trouble at all. One big plus for the Iridani is the fact that any infantry class can equip it, save for the max, but that's pretty obvious. Want the advantage of having a heavy assaults, shield, and rocket launcher, but keep the CQC strength in your hands? Go ahead. Want to stealth and get behind your target and mow them down with the SMG? Totally viable. The adaptability per class this weapon allows is pretty unique, much like how shotguns offer multiple classes the ability to have a strong CQC standing. Alrighty, let's step in the nitty gritty of the Iridani submachine gun. This weapon fires at a rate of 750 rounds per minute, which is the middle ground between the three factions SMGs. Each bullet deals a maximum damage of 143 damage, giving the Iridani a 7 bullet kill. This is a pretty good bullet strength if we compare it to the LC2 Lynx Carbine of the Terran Republic, both drop targets in 7 bullets. Calculating the 7 bullet kill necessity, as well as firing at a rate of 750 rounds per minute, the total time to kill with the Iridani is 0.56 seconds, or a realistic time to kill of 1.87 seconds. This is slightly faster than some of the carbines available in the game, and will be a sheer force of destruction in close quarters combat when more rounds land on target. Magazine size of the SMG is 25 rounds, with an additional 10 rounds to be added if the extended magazine attachment is equipped. Reserved ammunition carried is 125 rounds, or 115 rounds of the extended magazine attachment on, as to keep the same total ammunition count the same. With the stock magazine size of 25, we can drop a total of 3 enemies with one magazine, or if we do get the extended mags attachment, we can increase the killing potential of this SMG up to 5 kills before having to reload. The carried reserve ammunition will allow for a total of 17 more potential kills as well. The short reload speed of this weapon, with the round still left in the chamber, is 1.75 seconds. With a completely empty magazine and a voided chamber as well, we have a long reload speed of 2.85 seconds. The very little recoil of this weapon pulls up and to the right at a rate of 0.2 degrees. The first shot recoil multiplier is 2 times, making this weapon insanely easy to handle. Aside from the Terran Republic's SMG, this is the lowest recoil gun in the game. Muzzle velocity of rounds fired from the Iridani move at a rate of 360 meters per second, which, aside from shotguns, is the slowest moving ballistic projectile in the game as well. But that shouldn't really matter, as we will be in close quarters engagements with this weapon anyway. How are we to dress up this beauty for warfare? There's quite a few attachments available to the Iridani in which to take advantage. For our optics, this SMG has access to scopes up to 4 times zoom, all the way down to our standard reflex sight. What I preferred though was the infrared night vision scope, allowing for easier tracking of enemies in close quarters engagements. As the use of smoke grenades have been increasing as of late, this attachment is perfect for indoor use when identifying targets through obscured corridors. 
Grabbing an optical sight is also a must as well. The iron sights on this weapon are a patchard setup sight design, having the rear sight open aligned with a forward post. This is all fine and dandy, but is pulled off in a very terrible way with this SMG. For the rail attachment, there's only two selections I could recommend here. Either the laser sight and its advanced version, or the extended magazines. I personally prefer the extended magazines, giving you that much more potential to stay in combat and drop targets. On the other hand, we can further amplify the hipfire accuracy capability of this SMG with the laser sight and its advanced variant, making this thing a pure laser in close quarters warfare. Next up would be the barrel attachment, and there's only one clear winner here, the suppressor. It further reduces the very quiet SMG muzzle audio, but also keeps you off that minimap during firing, which is an absolute must with this weapon. If you're flanking targets, there's no way you want them to know your position when you're using a very weak but fast firing weapon. You'll be caught with your pants down if you're in the middle of a reload, or you won't have the shields or health if you just finished eliminating a target. Due to the Iridani already having a very pretty pathetic round velocity, the suppressor will make little difference when trying to lead shots, which you will rarely have to do. The other barrel attachments, meaning the flash suppressor or compensator, just don't fit well into the role of the SMG. The compensator will do little to nothing to an almost no recoil weapon, and the flash suppressor reducing overall accuracy is a no-go for a bullet hose. Finally, we have the soft point ammunition allowed for our ammo slot. There's not much to say on this one, as I'm still kind of in the middle for it. This attachment will allow your SMG to hold its strength for a further distance, but will slow your rounds down even further. I can't say much about this, as you aren't usually in an engagement when this ammo will be of use, and the reduced round velocity isn't going to make much of a difference either. Grab it if you want, if not, you'll still be fine. Fighting with this weapon is actually pretty fun. It turns the medium speed of Planet Side 2's combat to a fast paced corridor shooter of sorts. Normally when I am play, I am slow and methodical with my movements, always keeping a form of cover within reach and keeping my head down. With the Iridani, I just said fuck it and just decided to run into combat guns blazing without a care in the world. It's rather fun and completely doable as I have the suppressor attached to my weapon. Many enemies wouldn't know where I was despite being an engineer. While using this weapon though, there's a few things that you'll have to get into your head. Aiming down sights with SMGs only increase your accuracy by about 10%, so you'll have to make the decision between hip fire and ADS, and which is the best for the situation. An advantage that SMGs have over other weapons, though, is that player speed is only reduced by 25% while aiming down the sights, as opposed to the 50% hindrance other weapons impose while ADS. Meaning, this weapon class is for the player who is on the move, or prefers maneuverability. With all that in mind, I'm sure you're thinking how this will impact your cert wallet. Well, I hope you're sitting, because this thing carries a rather hefty price. The Iridani SX-5 submachine gun is a tier 4 weapon, giving it a certification cost of 1000 and a station cash cost of 700 Starting off with your optics, go ahead and grab whatever you prefer for 30 certification points. Next up is the barrel attachment, being the suppressor, for another 100 certification points. Finally, we grab a rail attachment. Personally, I'd choose the extended magazines hand down for 100 certs, but you could also grab the laser sight and its advanced version for 200 certs total. If you want to fill out this weapon with some ammunition too, go ahead and grab the soft point rounds for 100 more certification points. This brings a total cost of the Iridani up to 1,230 certification points with just optics, suppressor, and extended magazines. If you want the optional attachments of soft point ammo and both laser sights, your total certification cost will be 1,430. So there you go, you sexy beast. The Vanu Sovereignty's Iridani SX-5 submachine gun, the latest in the VS's arsenal. It may suck at long ranges, but it's a complete monster in the hands of a trigger-happy soldier in close quarters. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Got an idea for my next weapon review? Go ahead and drop a comment in the comment section below, or just say that you're in love with the Zephyr Liberator. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs it down, and let me know what I can improve on. Remember to like us on Facebook, and if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe. It is completely free.